Well, HUD Secretary Dr. Ben Carson was in Columbus today promoting opportunity zones here in Ohio. Carson had a look at one of those zones and how it's being used to improve an area in need of growth and development. Our State House reporter Jason Aubrey shares this in Ohio headlines. People living in the Milo Grogan neighborhood opportunity zones say things really started to go downhill about 20 years ago. And while many are ready to see reinvestment in the area, some are concerned about gentrification. Lakeisha Terry is a mother of two, and recently her application to lease and live in this home, renovated by Homeport, was chosen. With this house, um, this opportunity, um, it really made a big impact on my family. Um, I would have never thought that I would be at 23 living in a house as beautiful as this. This home is in the Milo Grogan neighborhood, one of several opportunity zones across Ohio, created when Congress put the measure into last year's tax reform bill. Opportunity zones give outside investors a location and incentive to invest in homes and businesses in those areas in exchange for not having to pay a portion of their taxes. A lot of people, you know, in recent years have, have benefited tremendously economically. And now here's an opportunity for the, to take some of those unrealized capital gains, plow them back into the areas that have been economically deprived. Homeport CEO Bruce Lukey joined Dr. Carson in touring Lakeisha's home. He hears the concerns of some of Lakeisha's neighbors over the potential for gentrification of the neighborhood. It's a balancing act. A little bit of gentrification is not all bad because it helps values. Um, having said that, um, we don't want that to become so extreme that the individuals who have lived here um, can't continue to live here. It's estimated that this program will help investors defer payment of $7.7 .7 billion in taxes over the next four years in some of the most economically challenged areas of the country. In Columbus, Jason Aubrey, 2 News, working for you.